when it comes to prom, they say it's all downhill and pretty easy after you find the dress. And some of this year's dresses are turning heads and not necessarily in a good way. It has a popular prom site in Detroit enforcing a strict dress code, a job normally that's left up to schools. But now adults are making some changes. Hannah Saunders reports. A lot of people are like wearing the cutout dresses. That may include Hazlitt students Taryn King and Tara Mahon, who are still shopping for theirs. They describe the new trend of cutouts and dresses, which are low dips and holes on different areas of the torso, as classy. It's just like cute and accentuates your curves as a woman. As long as the holes aren't too big. If you feel beautiful, I think. Um, that's all that matters. This particular dress has been our number one seller. We've sold it to almost every school in our local area. Um, has the open back with the cutouts. Owner of Pierre's Bridal in Lansing, Virginia yeah, Bland, expects to sell hundreds more dresses this weekend. The busiest two days for prom shopping of the year. Hazlitt High School's principal has not seen this style yet, but isn't surprised. I've definitely seen less cloth. Um, for females than probably 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years ago. As this shopping weekend approaches, he warns what will happen if the dresses bought are too short, have slits too high, necklines too low, or cutouts too big. And number one, you either have to change your attire, or number two, we're going to ask you to put something over the top of it. A similar approach taken by other area schools like Okemos and East Lansing. If you want to spare yourself the embarrassment of maybe having that happen to you, then think first. So remember to check with your school district for their policy before following this latest trend. In Hazlitt, Hannah Saunders, Fox 47 News. We've put out calls to a couple of popular prom sites in mid-Michigan. Both the Eagle Eye Golf Course and the Lansing Center tell us they don't enforce dress codes. They leave that up to schools. So that brings us to our question. Should schools enforce dress codes for proms? You can tell us on our Facebook page right now. That's Fox 47 News.